Shalom. Uh, this is your brother Daniela coming back again with another lesson, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Hagudash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the Savior of Israel, and Israel alone. All right, uh, Bahashem is in the name, and the Racha Hagudash is the Holy Spirit by which we are able to learn, understand, and teach this word. Double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, our spiritual fathers, that taught us this truth and that rule well. And shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in the Heavenly Father and His Son. And uh, this is going to be a in the Hebrew lesson, right? Proverbs 18 and 10 in the Hebrew. Now, in the English it reads as this, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it, and is safe, right? So the name of the Lord is Yahweh, all right? Now, we know we have access to the Heavenly Father through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Real quick, let's grab that precept. John uh, chapter 14, right? So say John chapter 14 and verse... Um, Um, in verse 6, it says, And Yahweh shall say unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So Yahweh Shai is the example. All right, he's the example. The way that he lived is the way that we should live. The path that he took is the way that we should, is the path that we should take. Like he said, what? Enter ye in at the straight gate. The Lord was in the straight gate himself. That's right. It says, The truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you cannot go into the Heavenly Father, all right, but by or through Yahweh Shai, right? He he is with, is joining us unto the Heavenly Father, man, right? He's the go-between, the mediator, the high priest in the heavens, okay? So everything is through Yahweh Shai, through the right hand of the Heavenly Father, right? The, the right hand of the Heavenly Father, Right, so let's read it again. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the name of Yahweh, all right, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. All right, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. The righteous is going to call upon the name of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, all right, and be safe, man. The Lord uh, will defend them, right? And this is this is uh, whom the elect will praise and call upon in the day of Jacob's trouble, in the day of evil, and the Lord will defend them, all right, because it, cause it, it is written, all right, so uh, going into it, now when it comes to the Hebrew, things are written in a different order, uh, it, it, this is something which you call syntax, let's look that up real quick, syntax, okay, because in every language there is a particular syntax, a pattern for how uh, things are ordered together, and they also what uh, uh, how sentences are put together. Syntax. Let's, let's get it right here. Syntax. If they have have it here, sin. Syntax. Which they don't have it here. We're going to look it up in the Google. Important to know the word syntax. I spelled it wrong. Syntax. Uh, we can get it here. Syntax. It says, the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a language. So, it says, a set a set of rules for or an, an analysis of syntax of a language. Right? So, the order, the way, like I said in the definition before, how uh, 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 words are arranged to form uh, sentences and phrases in the language. So, as compared to um, English, um, Hebrew has a different syntax. All right, the Lashon Kodesh has a different order that the words are placed in. All right, um, and brothers that speak other languages, they they're more familiar with things being said differently. You know, uh, for example, in Spanish, um, the adjective is after the noun, right? So I could say, um, um, 
uh, I can't even think of an example right now. Right, okay, uh, example, you have a big rock and you have a little rock, you know, uh, so you instead of you saying, oh, uh, uh, the, uh, the, a big rock, that that's a that's a, a big rock. We say uh, well in Spanish, is they'll they'll say rock big in the language. So rock is piedra, right? Uh, uh, and instead of saying a uh, big rock, grande piedra, grande means big. Instead of grande piedra, is what? It's a uh, 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 piedra grande, right? So it's mean a, a big rock basically. So it's it's set in a different order, right? Syntax. Uh, so now that we got that. Let's get this right here. Just you know, giving it as, as an example. You know, and when you when you come into uh, the true understanding of the scriptures, you start to deal in other languages: the Hebrew, the Greek, the Latin, even the English. English in its uh in in its um un un um polluted form let's say that's why we got the etymology dictionary right so syntax is from the latin syntaxis greek syntaxis the same it says a putting together or in order arrangement a grammatical uh construction right so how things are put together in another language right so now going back to um this right here so um right here so it says uh the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Now instead of it saying the name of the Lord starting off with that it it doesn't say that. It starts off with the strong tower part. So the word for tower is uh Magadol. Okay? Magadol. Now we can get into that. Right? Magadol means a tower. Elevated stage, pulpit, raised bed, right? So something as exalted and raised up. And it comes from the word, the root word, gadol, which means to grow, to grow up, to become great, to be magnified, right? Um, to be powerful, great, right? Uh, uh, basically in the sense of, um, just to twist together, in the sense of being, um, uh, exalted, all right, or higher, right? That's what a tower is. That's why when people, when when uh, when you got uh, uh, people who are tall, they'll say, "Well, he towers over everyone else," meaning he's taller, right? <clears throat> so going back here, it's a lot, right? So Magadol means tower. So that's not it. Eighteen and ten. Magadol means tower, so it's Magadol, right, eyes, right, eyes means strong, and it comes from the root word, Izaz, right, which means what, to be strong, to prevail, to be firm, so Magadol, Izaz, right, instead of it saying strong tower, literally, um, word for word from the Hebrew, it's tower, strong, Magadol, Eyes, right, which comes from the root word Izaz, right? Um, so Magadol, eyes, right? And then it says Shum. Now, y you know, you know, I was thinking about this the other day. When it comes to the English language, there is a lot of extra words that, you know, that we use when it comes to getting the point across. But when you look in the Hebrew and certain other languages, it's straight to the point. Certain of the the thes and the, the different, what do you call those things? Uh, uh, predicates? No, 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 articles. They call them articles. Thes and the and, you know, the is and the and. and those different um, uh, words sometimes they're implied in in the language right so you get they they're not actually there but when you translate them over it's it's like a it's implied you know it has to be translated a certain way for you to understand in english so to speak you know i'm not going to get too much into that we're just going to get to the hebrew so it's magadol eyes shum shum means name 
right? Shum, and then here where it says Lord, capital L O R D, is the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh. Okay, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, right? This is the name that is the strong tower. This is the name that got all the power. Okay, they got the power, man, through Yahweh Shai. There's also power in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai. That's why his his disciples came back unto him saying, uh the the the, the devils are subjected unto us through thy name, right? Because Yahweh Shai is the top angel in the heavens. He's the son of the most high. He created all the spirits, man. Okay? At the at the uh charge of the Heavenly Father. Right, so it says, um right, so Magadol eyes Shum Yahweh. Right? So basically uh Tower Strong name Yahweh. That's literally what it says, but meaning what? Uh uh basic uh like like uh, a tower, a strong tower is the name of Yahweh, basically, right? Um, and then it says, uh, uh, Bawa, which it doesn't really have a trans translation to it, but it says into it, right? Right? So, a strong tower is the name of Yahweh, into it, right? And then it says into it, Bawa, all right, which Ba means in, it, or in it, right? Bawa, ba, ba, it says, uh, Yarawataza, Yarawataza, uh, which means the righteous, or Salakia, which means, uh, Salakia, to run, to run, Salakia, right? So it says, Yarawataza, so he runs, Ya. Meaning he and Ra Wataza meaning uh run or runneth, right? Ya Rawataza he runs uh Tazadak he runs righteous okay and then it says Wa uh Wa uh 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 Wa is that a na salakia we're gonna get this word right here. With his uh which is Shagab, which means to be high, exalted. It says to be set securely on high, right? Because remember it says a tower. You're in the tower, it's strong, it's fortified, and you're above your enemies. So you're securely safe in a high place, right? Because it's in a tower. You know? Um, set securely in a high place, which is perfect because we said a strong tower, right? You know, very poetic with it. You know, King uh, King David. You know, this the spirit the Lord put on him, right? These are actual uh, salakia, salakia. These are proverbs. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about King David. These are proverbs of Solomon, salakia. But um. Now, uh, uh, Salakia, it says, uh, uh, wa na, wa na shagab, okay? Wa na shagab, right? So it's Magadol, eyes, shum, Yahweh, all right? But wa, ra, uh, uh, ya, ra, wataza, tazadak, wa na, Wa na shagab, right? Right, so a strong tower is the name of the Lord, all right? Uh, the, and the righteous run it into it, and it's safe, right? But literally it says, uh, runneth uh, righteous, okay, and it's safe. Into it runneth the righteous, and it's safe, Right? If you read it like that, it gives you more understanding. It's a different <clears throat> way that it's, um, you know, uh, uh, being said. And in, in some instances in the archaic English, things are, are set up like that also, you know? 
right? But you know, this has been a uh, you know uh, in the Hebrew lesson. Uh, Lord will you were edified, and I'm gonna say shalom.